definitely that's a good attitude to have, Rex, you know? Ain't much to do out in this fucking fake-ass world anyways. No, right, and, you know, everything happens for a reason. And... Yeah, absolutely. Even hey, once you have kids, it's like, it's not even how I feel anymore, it's just... Yeah. Yeah, I hear what you're, I hear what you're saying. Yep. It's like... Yeah, we may not see it that way at first. Yeah, I was on pretty late last night on the chat, so I'm a little tired today, but I'll be all right. <laughs> Just got yeah, I saw a bunch of videos go up from you, Dan. Yeah. You've been busy. Yeah, I'm trying to stay busy too. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to. Have some rainy help because I'm covered in snow. It's I'm not trying to terrible. stay on this uh, kick that I'm on. You know, it's really powerful and. Yes. I'm not gonna budge, you know, and I'm getting tested every day by which is good I need to get tested and I need somebody yes. to, to see where I'm at with this, you know, and and it's just it's good I got things fueling me up to keep propelling more videos and keep standing in more truth, you know and Just people. Don't... Yes, that's, that's exactly how I feel like the, the stronger you get the more tests come to you yeah. And but then it, it then it gets to a point where it's it's actually easier to to deal with everything. Yeah. And that it is. Okay. It's just easier to deal with it and you know, trying to let people know this, you know, instead of why fight over death in in the book of the dead with us cuz you know there's a lot of people trying to debunk this and say that we don't have any any proof to this shit and it's like well you can go and look at our videos and look at all of our our testimonies even everybody's got a testimony into blood over intent we have tons of them yeah yeah proof's in the pudding man they just sure. don't, they're not digging in that's why they don't see it no well, because they're staying in the book of the dead they'd rather look in that than look at this the book of life oh yeah and i get it on some level i mean at some point you have to be responsible for your future but when you first start looking into this, it's daunting because you're like, dang, is everything really fake? And right. then when you finally accept that, like, yeah, this world is the fucking inside yes. out, then that's yes. when you're at that point where you can accept it. Yes. Other than that, you're still fighting against the bull. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, just the yeah, little shit that, that you imagine, the bull by imagine the like, imagine like Rex 10 years ago, like just the little <laughs> shit that probably got to you, you know? Like, think, mm -hmm. of, think about it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The saying down in Texas, they have a saying, and take the bull by the horns. Just, yeah. If you're dealing with a problem, you got to take it head on. You can't keep fiddle farting around. If you do that with a bull, he's going to freaking get you. And if you, you mess with the bull, horns. that's right. If you mess with the bull, you get the horns. That's what my dad used to say all the time. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. Yep. Yep. He's right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't poke the bear in the eye. I guess we're so evil because we want to let people Definitely know we live forever. We're evil. <laughs> so evil. Silly human monkey slave on a ball floating through space. At some point, too, everyone will start to realize that the quote unquote folks that are you know, lost at sea, you know, we'll all be at a point where our strength overcomes our frustration. That's you right. know what I mean by that? Finding our our gifts. Right. Yep. We're just remembering. We're the member berries. Member? <laughs> they told us that on Soul Park. The member berries. Remember? Remember? They were all remembering. I do. And I remember those member berries. 
Park. Remember? Everything yeah. is everything right now is in South Park. Right, it is. That's a good show I too. I I really <laughs> liked that show growing up. Me and my we I watched that. Show. I used to have people come to my house and watch that show at night. You know, like they would just show up to come watch South Park. You know, and that was a pretty big show back in my my day. Yes. Yeah. I know. It's yeah, it was awesome. Like everything, everything's in there. It All is. The and they're funny. Them guys are hilarious, you know, because they, they really just don't hold back, you know. And they, they set the bar. They set the bar for us, you know. They were the first cartoon to go on TV with, with cursing language and little kids, you know, cussing out shit. Like, it's insane. Little kids cussing on the TV show. <laughs> yeah, I don't really watch TV ever, though. I quit watching TV. I don't watch TV ever. I'd rather just be here standing in truth, making videos. I'd rather be doing research. I'd rather be watching your guys' channels. Like, that's, that's my new cable subscription. Literally. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't watch TV. I don't watch programming. I don't program myself with that nonsense. Can break free from all the lies. <laughs> but the television is definitely a big tool into people's um progresses, you know? It's like that's why it sucks right now because it's like all these elderly generations right now, you know, they forced them all to put masks on and stay inside the home and they all just sit inside their houses and watch the news. You know, that's all they do. That's all they do is watch the news, news and they stay asleep, you know, watching the news. And that's all these people do, you know. They would never do anything of research or do anything to look outside but the television's telling them. It's like the tell lie right. vision. It's telling you lies. Get up off your ass and get away from the lies and start looking into some truths. You know? Like nobody does that because you would be able to tell at least if somebody's searching something or of truth or anything, they're going to share it. They're going to tell you. And if nobody's doing anything, they're going to tell you. They're going to show you. But evil is when good people do nothing. And, you know... That's why it's gonna. That's why. Literally. That's why you know it's amazing that we all come in together and, and keep pushing this message out the way we do and how we are, you know, because at some point they're gonna see that we're actually doing something about it. Somebody's actually doing something about it. It's not evil anymore, you know. And people can sit there and attach bad shit to this or say bad shit about blood over intent. But. You know, and, and the fact of the matter is, it's just, they don't want to live. Nobody wants to get that programming out of their head because it's just so highly indoctrinated, you know, this programming of being in the book of the dead. Just, they, they never, they will never see, they, they don't even think they'll ever even see the book of life, like even give it a chance, you know, or it's just hard because so, yeah. Yeah, I hear you, you know, and it's it's us, it's us up to us, too, to wake others up, like, it's really important, you know, especially the one, like, I, I don't know, I kind of had a conclusion last night, like, when Quasi said, all your loved ones will be saved, all that, like, I think it's our job, maybe, to wake them yeah. up, you know, so that, because they're going to see, it, they're going to see us, you know, our, our parents and our family's going to see the changes in us, you know, and that's what's going to make them want to do this, too. Right. And like I said, I've always been saying, it, it comes to a point where you've got to you've got to make a decision. You're you're they're almost going to be pushed into, into it or not. Like Satan says, if I got to bring forth heaven on why earth, not, I not, will. You know, by himself. Choose, why not just choose life right right now? You know, why wait for? For that reason, is it is that really the right reason? All of a sudden, you're gonna nope. become selfless. I mean, it doesn't really work that way. You have to 
you have to elect yourself. When you do it, when you do that, you're taking a selfish act. Sorry, yeah. that's just loud. No, you're fine. I can I can deal with it. It's good. Okay, okay. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Sorry about that, everybody. No, you're fine, Max. Right. You know what I'll do? I'll put my phone on uh, microphone mute. There you go. I hope. Uh, okay. That's yeah, I help. hope you. Uh, good luck with getting that, Rex. But unmute it. But unmute it when you want to talk. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. But um. No, it's like it's it's a selfless, and that, that's kind of the whole thing about the one hundred forty-four thousand. It's like when you're selfless, it it's really truly selfless. It is this concept. I never knew, I never truly knew what selfless meant until I got into blood over intent. Like, I had no idea what, even, I never even heard the word. I never heard anybody say it. I never heard, because it's like, they never taught us any of this shit growing up from when we were kids. They didn't teach us how to compassionately care for one another or, you know, just, they told us the complete opposite of everything, you know? And then plus shoved it down our throats. And you become selfless. You actually start doing things that you've never even imagined, and and you're you don't even question it. You know what I mean? It's just comes yeah. straight from your heart. That trust and factor. You're, un you're unlocking that right. that compassionate heart that's inside you that you just can't feel it when you're numb or you're yeah you're lost. It you can't feel it. You don't even really have a sense of it. No, you don't. No, until you wake up and you realize all the lies that have been placed on you and and then you you know, it's I mean, like it's amazing waking up. Talk, it's a it's amazing waking up to the truth. Even just a little bit of truth. If you're just waking up to any bit of truth, you're you're definitely headed in the right direction. You know, it's most people just get steered off their path, you know. There could be there could be the biggest truther out there and, and they could get steering off their path just by, you know, something so simple. So, just, you know, you know, people aren't going to research unless we fucking literally shove this video down their throats, you know, down their faces. Right. Like, you know, the, the message has to just be screamed out in, yeah. the, in a way that yeah. kind of penetrates. In the way they do it to us, you know, they sold us death. Why yeah, can't we sell yeah. them life? You know, we're almost like, I mean, we ain't them. selling them. We're telling them they're selling death. We're telling life, you know. For free. For it's free. All free. And yeah, it's it's a really selfless, you know. Anybody that's gonna come in and talk about the Holy Grail, your eternal life, if they're gonna point this out to you, that is the most selfless thing you could possibly think of. Right. Right. And then you you understand how how reality is created and then then you can help others understand the same thing yeah and that's, and that's all we should dude, want doesn't anybody want an understanding of what's really going on here are they just going to stay highly indoctrinated into all these lies and are they going to stay highly indoctrinated into a book of the dead like it's just that's all it is and and that's all they want is to stay highly indoctrinated because this is what they've been fed their whole lives so i can see why it's hard for them to come out of it because they've literally fed themselves with nothing but indoctrinations and lies their whole life that they went, they're, they're, even with the foods and the poisons in our, in our bodies, you know, it makes it tough to, to decipher this information and realize it, you know, there's a lot working against us in, in this message and the blood over intent, you know, it isn't just us being censored. It's also everybody else being just as dumbed down as well. And, and I look at the censorship and I look at all the frustrations that we're dealing with in the platforms and so forth yeah. and yes it's frustrating I, I i get that but i right. think that is part yeah. of the struggle that it is we have to bear i mean to me to honestly Lindsay, i didn't have any content on my channel besides my blood over intent and i had a couple work videos on there and it wasn't until like a month or so ago that i started really getting some really con like content on my channel finally and that really made me so proud that I was fine yeah. because I knew I knew I had to get this message out somehow, some way. I just didn't know how or when, but you know the goddess is going to respond to you, no matter no matter what. If if your heart is set in that in that direction, if that's what your intent is really being placed on, 
then it's going to manifest, you know, and it was for the benefit of all. And now I got just tons of con content on my channel and I'm very thankful for that.